top five points about perspective in just five minutes. We better start straight away. The first point is that the word perspective doesn't need to be a scary word. It's simply a word that describes how something appears from a particular viewing point. As the viewing point changes, so the perspective changes. As we change our angle and position to the object, how it looks changes. If we're looking more side on, or if we're looking more upwards, what we see and the angles that we see occurring change. The second perspective point is that as objects get further away, they get smaller. That's pretty obvious with objects the same size and shape. But when we have one large object that we view it, say, from the side, what happens is that this side is closer than this side. And so because this side is further away from this side, it's smaller, or as we say, shorter, which means these lines have to angle. So the object shortens horizontally as it moves across, but it also shortens in the other direction, in the width. And that's why the apparent halfway point looks much further to one side, because as our object moves further away in this direction, it gets smaller, or as we say, it narrows. And so the part of the building that's closer to us takes up more space than the part of the building further away, which has gotten smaller, which has narrowed. This is called foreshortening. The third top point is that eye level is the most important element of perspective. Because if perspective is how something looks from a particular viewing position, then the level of the eyes, or quite possibly the camera, is going to be the thing that determines everything else. Finding eye level is always a key element of starting a drawing. And where we have a scene with many horizontal lines, eye level is going to be the place where this line actually is horizontal. And so here we can see, no, that line slopes up. But this line is pretty much horizontal. And even in a scene such as this, there will still be a horizontal line. Now this line slopes down and this line slopes up. So the horizontal line will be somewhere in between those two lines. So there need not necessarily actually be a line in the architecture on eye level. The fourth point is once we've established eye level, what we can see is above eye level, the angles of the horizontal lines increase as they move further away from eye level. But then below eye level, the horizontal lines increasingly increase in angle in the opposite direction. The helpful thing to realize when we draw is once we've established eye level, the lines above eye level become increasingly angled as they move above eye level and below eye level, they become increasingly angled in the opposite direction. And this creates a fan pattern of these lines that fan out with an increasing steepness of angle. And that's the pattern we need to look for in our reference and the pattern we need to put into our lines when we draw. Not to make the mistake of parallel lines, but to always create the fan pattern in our lines. And my fifth top point is that it's so very helpful if we understand that most perspective videos we see that create boxes such as this have been designed for architects to make architectural designs look good for clients. Good for architects, not so helpful for artists. What these diagrams fail to tell us is that it's not as simple as this. If the ground slopes up or down or up and down, or if these boxes don't all sit parallel or right angles to one another, but if the streets they're on 
curve around or curve and go up or down. Because then we have other considerations that need to be taken into account, which aren't mentioned. But because they don't tell us that they haven't told us, we can think that this is all there is to understand. But then when we go to apply perspective in real life, it won't work. And we think it's because we lack the ability to understand perspective. Much more helpful, I believe, to carefully observe and to think of the fan pattern when we observe. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found these five points helpful. In many ways, perspective for artists has become unnecessarily complicated. I hope these five points have helped to both simplify and demystify the various concepts to do with perspective. And if you're interested in more on perspective from me, I've got two playlists. And I'd particularly recommend that you look at the one with 13, 14 videos on it. I'll leave a link in the comments to that playlist. But look, whatever you're drawing, however you're drawing it, whether there's perspective or not, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.